Hey, I'm Steve Anderson, and I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash soup, and this is going to be put on our CVs, aka resume. Um, I also have a first stew, which is my wife, Whitney. I'm going to turn the camera so they can see you a little bit. There you go. <laughs> and what I'm going to first do is we're going to get all our vegetables and whatnot and make sure everything's scrubbed up and clean. So i got my butternut squash here, and I always use one sponge that's only used for the vegetables and fruits and stuff, not for dishes. It's all nice and scrubbed up here. And with the carrots. And we've got celery. You always wash your vegetables. I don't care if the package says it's pink free wash. You wash it anyway. So what we're going to do here is first take this bucket up here and I'm going to cut it in half. And when I cut it in half, what that's doing is going to help the cooking time cut in half. I'm going to take this and set it down on a sheet pan, and I'm going to put a little bit of water on it, and this will help steam a little bit, plus bake. And this is going to go in a 350 degree preheated oven for about an hour. Now, while that's cooking, what we're going to do is saute up these vegetables, which is going to be added into the dish, or soup, it's actually. I'm going to use two cloves of garlic, and I'm going to snap this up like this, peel it, and once you get these peeled, set them to the side, and we're just going to kind of rough cut all these vegetables, because in the end, we're going to end up pureeing it all in the lunch. I'm going to use about a quarter stick of butter, and that's going to go into our pan here. Get that nice and hot. Cut this up over here. Take the bad parts of the carrots off. Kind of cut this up. And then I got the deli onion, and I'm going to take the skin off of this and use this whole onion. And trust me, it's a nice, sweet deli onion. You're not going to get a lot of onion flavor in the soup. Now I'm going to let this all saute up until it gets nice and tender. And the reason why we're sauteing this is because it's going to bring out the full flavors of your miracle. And over here, I have chicken stock, which I've been reducing down. It's going to cook for about four hours. We're also going to use that for soup. So, i tell you what. I'm going to get back to you as soon as the butternut squash is nice and tender. And we'll go from there. Okay, so this has been cooking for about an hour now, and this is going to be nice and tender. The way you check that is take the tip of a knife, open the oven door, and stick it to the thickest part of the squash. And if the knife goes in nice and easy, you know that is ready to go. Woo! So, let me talk a little bit about what we're doing here. This is, I've been reducing this down, caramelizing the mirepoix. Caramelizing means I'm bringing out all the natural sugars that are into our mirepoix, which we're adding into our soup. But, I've been cooking since I've been 8 years old. I'm 43 years old right now. And this is to show you how we are cooking and, and how Whitney and I work together for on um, luxury yachts. And I had graduated from the Culinary Institute in 1986. I went to a vocational school when I was in high school for culinary arts. Got a scholarship to go to culinary. When I had graduated, I graduated and uh, got the Richard T. Key Award for cooking. And I also have a certificate de merit, which is also on French wines. So that's a little bit of background about me. Uh, my Stu, which is my wife, uh, she has a uh, background in fine dining restaurants. Uh, variety of wines, table settings, and whatnot. So, that's a little background about us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this um, squash out. And, as you remember, I put a little bit of water on the pan. And the reason why I did that is because it helps with the steaming process. So, I'm going to flip these over. And you got to be very careful because it's hot. And I'm going to take a spoon 
and discard the seeds and get rid of these. Kind of just set them off to the side of the sheet pan. Get rid of these in here. And the rest of this pulp, what we're going to do is put it to the blender and puree it. Thank you for watching.